G'day guys, how are you going? Um, this morning we're uh, here back at the uh, warehouse. Uh, the NBN guy has come and he has um, hooked up to the box, whatever. So this is the phone line apparently and that goes to this NBN box here. Okay, and then that's got to go, eventually there's got to be a wire that runs from that out the back to this glass box thing. So that's what we're doing. Um, so Peter the Sparky is here this, today with his dad, um, doing putting some lights in and stuff. So, here they are, the boys. I fit him a bean bag, but I didn't have one, so he would have used it otherwise. Pete's here too, putting the power points in. Uh, paint is all done, so he looks all good. Um, so he put the uh, fan in there. He's got that going on. Light, another downlight here for the uh, for the uh, bathroom there. So he's got these ones going as well. So we should have them up by the end of the day. Uh, here's the disabled bathroom. Uh, there was a beam in the way of the. The fans, I'm just going to cut that out. Um, so I'm going to concentrate today putting that um, hot water system on the wall um, so he can hook that up and then hopefully start getting the disabled basin in there, um, disabled toilet as well. So just, yeah, moving on, trying to get as much done as possible so I can stop using that, you know, that uh, portable toilet out the back there. So that's what we're up to. We just keep going and uh, keep chunking along. So hopefully by the end of the day we might have some downlights going. So it'd be good to see what the actual turns out looking like. Yeah, over the weekend, uh, Ben, the glass guy, had, has come and he has um, put the, the foyer, the foyer bit in. Um, so, so I'll show you that. So here it is, there's no glass in it at, at the moment. Um, I'll just turn these lights on. Now I've got lights, I've got to get used to turning lights on now. Uh, now the power's connected. So yeah, this, this window here, this will be a, um, a slider. And to close, let a little bit of fresh air in or whatever, or just to talk to people. And then down here will be a fixed fixed panel, so you can have a desk against it. Because I wanted to make sure that the um, yeah the, the office staff can can have a nice view. Um, yeah, okay, the view's not great, but at least they can look outside. They're not looking you know like over this way at a wall or something like that. Um, so yeah, you can see the door as well. Um, it's got the it's got the os lock on it um, through there, and yeah, a, a smaller panel. Um, so yeah, it's all starting to look legit now, especially with the little uh, exit sign there. Um, so I'll just step through. Okay, so you can see it. Um, so that would be the code to, to come into the office. It's also got a fingerprint uh, thing as well. Um, so yeah, pretty, got to figure out how, how that works. The glass uh, has to be cut now, and uh, so that's coming um, in the next few days, I think Ben the glass guy said, so that's good. I've got uh, Arco here, the double glazing um, guys. So they've got the doors, um, they're going to be put in here today. Um, it's, it's actually plastic, a plastic frame, so a PVC frame. So a lot in Europe and stuff. And I know when I, I lived in Europe in 2001 or whatever, um, they had a lot of this stuff. And yeah, it's really, really great quality and stuff like that. Um, so they'll be, they'll be replacing, um, that will become the window now. And this will become the door and a, and a, and a small window so yeah these two are getting replaced today also the one up there is, is getting changed over as well um, the reason I went double glazing it wasn't heaps more expensive but the, the guys over here they make all uh, the, like the Perth waste bins and everything and often they're I don't know they're, they're turning the bins over and stuff like that so it's banging a bit and um, so there is a bit of noise sometimes when they're working um, and I thought oh for the yeah, for the extra money and some of the windows are only about $500 extra you know so it wasn't too bad um, so that's that's uh, good I was so um, you know it's something that you can't do later on sort of thing so I thought I'd spend the extra money now and uh, make it a bit nicer um, just leaving that window there um, this here will become a window now um, just a little bit of light sort of into the you know into this area from the you know skylights because eventually we'll, we'll replace the uh, those sheets there too because they've, they've had it as well. Um, also, there'll be another window here that we're going to put in, um, and we're going to have a opening. This window here, open here, so at the bench too, we can we can open that if we want as well. So that's what our, my mate Ollie is doing today. He's uh, he's from England originally, so he did a lot of this stuff over there. So it's not good you can get a massive van in a warehouse like this. So all right, guys, I'll keep you posted anyway. So I've got to take that board out now for for the. The last time it's been sitting there for quite a few months, like um, you know, protecting the, you know, so no one can get in or whatever. So it's good I'll be able to take that out so it can look a bit nicer. All right, cool. I better get on to it. Thanks, catcher.